Now let's talk about food. Most Africans buy their food at open air food markets that would make many hygiene cautious Westerners squirm. But a new study from the Nairobi based International Livestock Research Institute has yielded a surprising finding that some goods from these informal markets are no less safe or fresh than what is found in the Western style African supermarkets that are spreading across the continent. Viewers Anita Powell reports from Johannesburg. Scenes like this are familiar to most African shoppers. Open air food markets, like this one in Johannesburg. They supply as much as 95% of the continent's food. But this too is becoming a more frequent sight on this continent. Mega supermarket chains whose brightly lit aisles and plastic wrapped goods are a world away from those open air markets. A new study by the International Livestock Research Institute looked at informal markets in eight African countries and yielded a surprising finding. When it comes to food safety and freshness, looks can be deceiving. Just because a product carries a label or is presented in a shiny environment, it doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. She pointed to several examples in Nairobi, where informal sellers say they take health precautions before selling their goods. Make sure. I make sure the milking water is boiled and the milker washes his hands before milking. And vendors often take an additional step. When I receive the milk, I boil it first to confirm the freshness. And Russell notes, informal markets fulfill an important economic role. They give uh, work for so many and food to so many. And uh, when you go into a village in Kenya, you will see there's no supermarket. So if it was not for the informal markets, where else would those people buy their food? It's a good question, and one that many here in Johannesburg already know the answer to. Many shoppers here said the prices are lower than in supermarkets, and the goods fresher. Many Western nations are also returning to locally sourced, more natural food options, a model that Africa has used for centuries. Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg.